The brand new Fion tractor ply just got added to CDT. Now, we're going to try to find out, is it good? We're going to be taking it in numerous courses like the GIF track, the circuit track, and the drag race. We're also going to be slapping thousands of dollars of upgrades in there, guys. So, we're going to see the difference with this car after it's done. Whoa! Guys, that was amazing. But what's more amazing, guys, is that we finally hit 250,000 subscribers. Now, I have a new challenge for you. Our brand new goal is 500,000 subscribers. So before this video gets started, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and don't forget to click that post notification bell for more videos and live streams. Now I gotta go, guys. I'm late for my race. I'll see you in the video. No way that this is a real car, guys. The Fion uh, Tractiply is in a car dealership tycoon now, guys. And this is one of the prizes for the Season 10 update in here. And today, we're going to go ahead and review this car. But before we do that, guys, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you guys haven't. And don't forget to click that post notification bell. This is the most interesting vehicle that we're probably going to be reviewing in this channel. And I don't want you guys missing out any of this. And it is absolutely absolutely a fun car to drive guys let's get started with this video here we go guys check this out this is probably one of the easiest car to actually do a donut or drift in and you guys can see we got it right over here the top speed of this stock is 195 miles an hour which is already insane with a handling of 7.9 of course it is a real wheel drive car guys just to make it a little bit more fun and you guys can see that this car is $350,000. Now, looking closely at the car, guys, the first thing that kind of sticks out is the quad exhaust tip that's in the back. Kind of reminds me of the Pagani Huayra. And then also, guys, this huge wing in the back. Looks absolutely amazing. It is a fixed wing. It is not a uh, moving wing, guys. And we also have these the rear diffusers in the back, which looks absolutely cute. It looks really, really nice. I think it's functional in a way. We you guys can see we also have this uh, aggressive side skirt on this fire on track tip lie and you guys can see we have this cool hood i don't know how functional this is but this is a uh, additional piece to the hood and you guys can see we have this huge front lip and we have these cool rims as well we also have a roll cage inside and you guys can see that we do have a passenger seat which uh it looks like my boy kind of took it already and you can see that we do not have any seats in the back because it is taken up by a roll cage it has some type of wide body uh kit to it guys so that's why it does look a little bit more aggressive but other than that a couple of favorite things about this car that i like is actually the quad exhaust tip that kind of reminds me of the pagani also the wing and last but not least guys the sound of this car just sounds amazing it sounds like the other gt3 cars in the game all right first race i do want to try out guys is the drag race now we have a stock engine on this and we're racing against oh is that the idr Oh, that's the brand new Volkswagen IDR. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. And you guys can see that we're not the fastest, but we do sound the coolest. And just like that, we got a 9.3. That's not bad. 9.3 for this car. That's mo honestly better than most supercars out there. Not bad. Not bad. All right. So we are here at the circuit race, guys. And you can see how beautiful the interior of this track typically is, guys. And the fact that we can see completely uh, open and outside of the vehicle is absolutely amazing. We can literally race the whole entire thing with first person view. Am I going to? Probably not because I like third person view better. But you guys can see how easily I can move throughout the whole entire track in first person. That's amazing. Now, I haven't upgraded this yet, guys. So this first run right here is a stock run. And just like that, we got 38 seconds around the track. That's not bad for it being stock, guys. Not bad at all. Now, we're going to switch over to the drift race real quick and see what kind of points we get. We did switch to the spike tires, guys. So you can see that we are going to be drifting around here. But let's see. Let's see what a stock track typically does on the drift race Ooh, as much as i can control this around the track guys and in the streets i can control it around this drift track very well also but it feels like it doesn't have a lot of power 
like it should have. Maybe after we fully upgrade it, guys, it will do fine. I, I just love the fact that it sounds like a Hellcat. <laughs> Check this out. 12,000 points for, you know stock guys not bad not bad all right let's stop messing around you guys can see we got 195 miles per hour top speed but let's go ahead and fully upgrade this bad boy the first thing we're gonna do guys is to install the race engine upgrade and it's gonna cost us seven hundred and thirteen thousand dollars what I didn't think it was going to be that expensive, but let's go ahead and do that. It's going to add 22 miles per hour to our uh, fire on track typically, and it's going to be a new top speed of 217 miles an hour. Now our handling is still going to be the same, guys, but our new top speed is now 217. Now let's go ahead and go to our turbos, and that's going to bring us up another 14% acceleration with a 427%. Wow, that's insanely a lot of money but we're gonna go ahead and do it guys all right here we go now we have a fully modded track typically and let's see what kind of timing we get on the track it is a beautiful morning here at the drag race guys and today we have the fully upgraded track typically right over here guys and yeah i can't wait to see what kind of a zero to 60 time we get with this this is now fully upgraded and we got a 8.9 seconds or a 9.8 seconds last time let's see what we get now here we go Ooh, we are going fast but i don't think that turbo upgrade was worth it guys here we go 8.4 wow now we did get an 8.9 last time guys i believe it was 8.9 but an 8.4 man i don't think that's a big upgrade we, we got to do that again i feel like w that was not a good run boom 8.4 second run all right not bad not bad i mean it is a fion after all guys it's not like it's a lamborghini so we can't expect much but let's go ahead and go to the track and let's see if our uh you know track time would change just a little bit all right back here at the circuit track with the track deploy that's a weird name but it is a lot better in the circuit guys i feel like it has improved ever since we have upgraded it it feels like we can accelerate a lot faster the only problem i have still is it's still kind of slow it doesn't seem like it's gonna hit 200 miles an hour anytime soon guys but the 0 to 60 has improved just a teeny bit and the track time i'm guessing has too so we're crossing up the finish line here and let's see if we get a better than 38 seconds here we go 36 guys not bad we shed off a good two seconds with this fion track tipoli nice all right last but not least the drift track but you know what i gotta change the cameras on this i can't just go in there like this let me go ahead and go with a negative 50 can we go negative 50 on the cameras you know what negative 10 it is let's go negative 10 with this and then with this we'll go with negative 100 if we can uh oh my gosh you can go negative 100 with the offsets but let's go ahead and go with that and then uh there we go nice did we get it in yes we did look at our new upgrade it does look a lot cooler with the cameras guys <laughs> look at this it does look a lot cooler it, it's kind of more like a drift car than a circuit car guys after you kind of upgrade it and especially look at the points that i'm making four thousand points in just that one run that what tells you guys is that this has a lot of wheel spin to it so every single time that this wheel actually spins guys is giving you a lot of points so if you guys are gonna go with the drift race i would try this out and you know test it out and see if it's actually gonna benefit you but at so far we got way more points than we did last match and we're not even halfway done yet it does sound a lot quieter ever since we did take out the supercharger it sounds like it's just turbo spews now with uh it doesn't sound like a hellcat Ooh, look at that seventeen thousand points and that's not even trying i wasn't even trying guys you know what i'm gonna run that again let's see what we get oh here we go here we go look at that from the start three thousand points already this is the easiest car ever bro insane yeah 16,000. oh my gosh and we still got 24 seconds on the clock this is wild okay this is probably smoother than ever too guys ever since we upgraded it it's a lot smoother and a lot better in drifting ever since we even changed the cameras up whoa look at that yo look at that let's go <laughs> look at the points that we're getting on this track to ply this is wild 23,000 at the end guys that's insane this is the brand new fine track to fly guys and if you want to try it out and suit it up let me know in the comments down below guys this is a super fun car to drive 
trust me guys it is worth it it is part of the season 10 uh season pass guys so if you guys do want a chance to win a season pass on my channel let me know in the comments down below leave your roblox name in the comments down guys because i do not know how to send the robux to you unless i know your usernames but thank you guys so much for watching hope to see you guys in the next video and peace out